Good morning. How are you today? I'm I'm good. I'm fine. I came out to put the tripod outside because I think I've told you before I have a handful of stuff to bring out. Coffee, me, change my shoes, you know my policy. Put my hat on. I'm whispering. I don't know why. Check I checked the temperature because right away as soon as I opened the door it felt warm outside. The sun isn't beating down. It is 10 to 6 a.m. There's, there's really, if there's sun, it's under a cloud right now, but um, it just feels hot. And I checked the temperature. I said, what is it, 90 already? And it's only 73, but it feels warm. I am used to, since I've been doing videos here, opening the back door and it and a, a sense of coolness comes. And even in the 70s, it was feeling uh, morning cool, you know? But, uh, whoa, it feels warm, toasty warm. I can't get a, a sunrise for you. The only one I have is the street in front. A lot of houses in there and probably stuff doesn't need to be on a public video. <laughs> I do try to keep as much of that down as I can. Even if I film inside, I do edit and reduce the size of the video. Uh, people's homes aren't really shown in a public way necessarily. As I mentioned, I want to do another people's plants video. And I've been trying to collect material, but I do have some and then cacti that were in bloom and a lot of that. I want to do a video for you then. I'm not sure when, but when I don't have material that I'm going to do out here. Like I said, it is already warm and you may be asking, well, Minnie, why are you in all this clothing? This is very lightweight. I got it on Amazon, by the way. A lady asked me about, I think it was a green shirt. She thought it was a jacket out of pink, blue, and green. That's all they had. Oh, and I got a sort of a light green one, like a hmm, seafoam green. Anyway, uh, mosquitoes. Keep mosquitoes off. I worried that I saw my first one on my arm today, but I don't feel it, so perhaps I didn't. Uh, mosquitoes and sun exposure. I had my history of a little bit of uh, skin cancer right in the base of my neck. Uh, you know, what was I like? <laughs> but I grew up in the tropics. I grew up in the 50s and 60s. And we didn't do sunscreen and then moved to Arizona. So lots and lots of sun. Whew, sorry, I believe the humidity is only at 20 something percent, but uh, I'm sweating already. Just gotta take a minute here and cool down. You may have seen in some of my videos that I have some cords out here. I've certainly got a couple running to my little fountain, of uh, my little pot uh, fountains. But I brought a fan out last year, a big box fan, and I just hooked it up and I would sit there and let it blow on me. And I may do that again. We didn't have this many 100s so early in the year last year. I'm not sure what the year will hold for us here in southeastern Arizona. How about you guys? Let me know about your weather, whether it's out of control or actually great because it's bad as some people are having it. Other people must be having it really good. I wonder if today is the discussion day for doing a gardening channel and wearing makeup. I don't know how long I've been doing this gardening channel, a couple months maybe? And very early on, I did a bit of a, a rant in my office on, and it wasn't a, a mean rant. It was, gosh, I had no idea. When I watch gardening channels, I didn't realize that most of the young women, most of the women, young, old, it doesn't really matter. There are some, but most, cer certainly ones that I watch, I wonder if there's something to be said there. Most of the women I watch wear makeup a lot of it to go outside and garden. They're not wearing it to go outside and garden, obviously. Nobody <laughs> wants a little makeup on to go outside and have a sweat all over. Yeah, it's to be on camera. And I didn't realize that. And I came out and I was doing a couple of videos and I realized I barely got eyebrows on. I don't actually have my eyebrows anymore. I lost a lot of hair. I've lost hair on the front of my head. So that's what the hat for. 
and eyebrows, pff, what, maybe 10 hairs. It's terrible, this old age thing. Uh, so as I was watching the videos that I follow, I realized every one of these women has makeup. And I, I mean, they've got something on their face. They've definitely got lipstick, even though it may not look like it. And for sure, they're all doing their eyes. They've got eyeliner, they've got eyeshadow, they've got mascara. Whether they do their eyebrows at that age or not, I don't know. Even the ones wearing little ball caps and everything, you're like, oh, you're just, you're just down home. You're, you're doing this and that and the other thing. Uh, makeup, there are a few, of course, there are some that don't, but for some reason, the ones I was following do. And I realized that if I am going to sit in front of this camera, I got to do makeup. I haven't done makeup since I stopped working outside of the home in 2012. Sure, there's been a couple of occasions, trips, uh, dates, conferences. Some of you know I'm a writer. Conferences I might go to, I did makeup, but just generally day to day is eyebrows and lipstick. Because I, I look, if without my eyebrows, I look like I'm in chemo, undergoing chemo treatment. And yes, I can chuckle about that because I have gone, undergone chemo treatment, so I know what that looks like. Goodness gracious, so makeup every morning. I'm not sure where I was going with that, but I, I definitely, um, I did quite the little, quite the little video about having to do makeup and, and it's taken me more than 15 minutes to do makeup now. And at my age, I wanted to sit down. So I got myself a little, a little tiny vanity thing a little table that serves as a desk, and it's pink of all things. It's like I'm doing it. I had to set it in my bedroom. Uh, I just got a mirror yesterday, a pretty big one with a light. Oh, it was fun having the big mirror. Honestly, I just got tired of standing mm, in front of the bathroom mirror, but makeup. So if I want to come out and film something real quick like, I try, I try my best, well, you know, I try to keep my face out of the camera. Also, it's not gardening related, it's gardening channel related. The camera does pick up everything. It absolutely picks up everything. Look at me like, checking my mouth now, blah, blah, blah. Picks up everything. You wouldn't think it would. It's time for me to go inside. Thank you for joining me for coffee this morning. Uh, I enjoyed your company. Talk to you soon. Bye. All right. This is my selection of goodies. I just had to have them. I wasn't really sure where I was going to plant them. I lost a leaf on this one. And I've got some holes. Let's see what I want to do. I have this cute little pot. And it looks like the viola finally gave up the ghost. So I will... Pull that, plant something in there. Oh. Let me set that aside. I don't have my. So, this is a Tacoma. Yeah, I'll show you a photo of what it looked like last year. It gets pretty big. And I can probably put some things in there. Got a hole right in there. I don't know what was in there. African daisy of some sort. Um, I feel like these are tired and I'm gonna take them out. So this is where I was gonna put those purple petunias. Some of them anyway. Yeah, it looks like I might have a little hole right in there I could fill in. I might be overwatering verbena, is that? Is that a thing? Do we overwater verbena? And these little pots could use a few things. One or two. Wouldn't kill them. And I think the moss roses are going to take over, so I think that'll be it. And this little guy, which is an African daisy, has a little bit of room. So I've got room for everything. These crepe myrtle do terrible when they get the... 
know what to do here. I really, really don't. The copper fungicide really kills the blooms. Maybe this is a bad idea to do this because am I spreading spores everywhere? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Uh-oh, there's that baby lizard. There he is. There he is. Yeah, he's not a desert spiny. Let me just study what he is. He's cute. Hi, guy. Unless he's a, unless he's a baby baby. Hmm. Anyway, it's gonna go hide in there somewhere. Hi. Hello. Don't be poisonous and evil, okay? This, this really cute guy. What are you? Oh, I need better pictures. I don't have my glasses on for one thing, so thank goodness for the camera. I'll go study what he is. I'm running the water. Good news is it did run. Bad news is I see things that look dead. Okay, now, where could I be putting that beautiful daylily that I got? It's somewhere in there in that hole. In there. Go this container first. Uh, so this is a bright orange flower. So I've got the purslane, and this is the rose-looking purslane, and it's actually called Color Blast Double Orange. Generally, that entire plant should be cirrusgate. I know the verbena. At least I know. I think the verbena don't like water. I do have some other containers I could go ahead and fill. That might get too crowded. Maybe just the one. Let me get my gloves. I don't have this on irrigation. It's just kind of a random pot sitting out here and I just leave it here. Because it randomly does great. You know, I have this little um, terrace thing that might be, I might like something in there. It tends to get kind of dry. Does it get as much sun as somehow this thing is getting kind of big? I could put it in here too. That might be okay. I'd love to have something in these little guys. Or this guy. What do you think? <clears throat> I tried succulents on these. They didn't work. They got too much rain. This thing dries out a lot. I tried strawberries in this. Here or here. It will die at the end of the year. This is called Cupcake Upright Orange Zest. 6 to 12 inches tall. Tolerates heat and dry soil. Goodness. A second one over here, if you can see it. Yeah, they didn't do well with succulents, but <clears throat> of course, that is a succulent, isn't it? I might start keeping these little pots, although I haven't been working with seedlings. 86 degrees out already.
summer shut off pretty quickly in the sun. Uh, let's try and get these zinnias planted. Just check the moisture inside the bed. The reason I turned irrigation off is you see it's still very wet inside. I really need that to dry. And yet, it wasn't wet enough to keep these nasturtiums from drying out one afternoon when I didn't water them. It's crazy, I don't understand. I really, really don't understand. But it's been 100 degrees every day and some things are just struggling. That's cute enough, isn't it? All right. Let's plant some. Um, right. Plant two. Plant three. Should I stagger them? Wow. That actually doesn't look too bad, does it? Stagger them? Let's do it. All right. Place my trowel and I think I really need it for this one. And I'll put this daylily in here. Ooh, got it. All right, I did have a couple little ones that aren't doing real well. There's no assumption that this will either. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna pull it out now. I'm tired of looking at them. I really don't know what they are. I think they're a weed at this point. You see, I've got a lot of little ones, but they didn't really take. So, here's a point of grip. And, uh, hmm. I'll put it in the back of the grip. And the mulch. Food in there, probably. Probably gonna lose this blossom. That's too bad. It's so pretty. This is fourteen dollars. It's called Sweet Sugar Candy. Wow, that's a good one. Holy smokes! Look at these roots. 
Mm-mm. Boy, that's been growing in there a while, huh? I expect this will succeed, but let's see how it goes. I'm terrible about getting things heated up. They should have more sun than that, but it's what I've got. I pulled all these tall guys out, these weeds I've been wondering about. I mean, these plants. I honestly, I think they're weeds. 